Today I'm taking you along on my trip to Abidjan. I usually start packing a few days before my trip. So as soon as we got our visa, I started packing. I use packing cubes because it saves space and I know where everything is. And I ended up with two check luggage, a backpack and a carry-on. One thing I always do before a trip is cook batch all the meals for the kids when they're staying and for my husband as well if he's staying uh, behind. So I made my way to the airport and I got so, so, so excited for this trip. The thing about travel is that I am 5'11", right? So my, I, have, I have really long legs and I always, always, always pick an aisle seat except for this trip to to Chicago because it was uh, Houston, Chicago, Chicago, Brussels, Brussels, Cotonou, Cotonou, Abidjan. So it was 24 hours. Yes, it was a 24 hour trip and I, you can't just sit on a window seat with your legs crammed and all of that for almost 24 hours. So the only flight to which I took the window seat was for this view to be able to get some footage of Chicago beautiful trees and the fall and I'm so so glad I did and as soon as we landed in Chicago I made my way to the lounge I was tempted to get some auntie and um, pretzels but I didn't <laughs> but I made my way to the lounge to relax a little bit because I had a six hour layover so I paid for a day pass and just chilled at the lounge because it, I really needed the space to chill out and to eat a lot of food actually. I wanted to eat as much food as I could because I know that, you know, um, Brussels Airlines food is not always the best food. So I got a lot of food. I drank a lot of tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. So tea and water, that's always my go-to drink. But a lot of honey as well because you know, it makes everything so sweet. Of course, I get ready for the flight, gotta brush your teeth and make your way to the gate to board for a flight to Brussels. Like I anticipated, the food was terrible, but I got comforted watching my favorite show, King of Queens. Then upon arrival in Brussels in the morning, we got into a little shuttle to get to the terminal for flight destination to Africa. So that was the flight for Abidjan. And I had to remind myself that I'm living my best life, trying to stay positive, even though it was a long, long, long trip. So I just try to make the best of it on the flight. watching a few movies and the only thing I really ate on that flight was the waffle thing. It wasn't the best, but oh well. We finally made it to Abidjan. Looking at the beautiful lights from the window, I was just so, so, so excited to be, to finally be in Abidjan. And I think everybody was so excited too. One of the things that I really, really enjoyed about this trip is the welcome that I got from this agency right here. Thank you. So as soon as you get off the plane, uh, this lady, I'm going to leave all their information in the description. It's a service. It's really inexpensive. I think it was 45,000 francs, which is, I think, about 80 bucks. And they get you from the feet of the airplane, get you in the car so you don't have to go on the shuttle bus and they take you to the uh, where you get you you show your covid card your vaccination card you skip all the lines she even carry my carry-on for me i just had my backpack so she makes you skip all the lines so to go show your vaccination as well as to go through customs there's a general area for where everybody goes to customs and then there's the area with the red carpet where I got to go for custom. There was just one person there. So you skip a lot, a lot, a lot of lines, save a lot of time. My husband went through the regular line when he went to Abidjan. I think it took him 45 minutes. For me, it took me 15 minutes to do the whole thing. So definitely highly recommend it. Finally made it, got my bags. 
um, met my with my husband out of the airport. So, so excited to make it to Abidjan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you watch part two.